it ain't easy, believe it. One way over another, I know it's for Jesus. He is faith as big as a mustard seed is. All these things in this world are deedless. All but he is a Bible and a verse. Put the Bible beat the hearse. Put the shackles off this curse. He beat the worst. And when you wake up, wait, make sure you put God first. Put God first. I believe in the Father. I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. This ain't a shameless home, just trying to avoid where the shameless go. Love my father hold deeper than a rich man. Hi, this is Miss Toy again, and I'm coming to you from inside the Haven. And I would like to welcome you tonight. Uh, tonight, we're going to start out doing something a little different. We're going to have uh, what I call quote of the day. And tonight's quote is, recognize your goodness and celebrate your greatness. In other words, we here at the Haven, we want to celebrate you and recognize the goodness that you have within you. Everybody doesn't know that they are good and that they are to become great. And we want to celebrate you and recognize that you are great. And with that, um, I would like to also invite you to uh, eat, send me an email. Uh, you can email me at insidethehaven at gmail.com. Email me your favorite scripture or your favorite quote, and we will definitely feature it on Inside the Haven on the show and let everybody know that you sent it in, all right? Also, I invite you to uh, go to my webpage, insidethehaven.com, where you can, um, the quotes are there, um, daily tweets are there. Uh, if you have a, a, a program or a, um, a service that you're offering to teenagers or youth uh, in the city or wherever, you can post that on the website. Uh, the website will be good for um, in interviews, interviews that we show on the show. Uh, we invite you to, of course, come on the show, whether you're an adult or a teenager or a young, uh, young adult up to age 24. We invite you to most definitely come on the show and do an interview. Uh, but if you don't want to come on the show, you can post your interview there. Um, teenagers and young adults, you can post your interview. Go to the link interview app and then go to um, Role Model Mondays and post your interview there and also upload your favorite selfie. Uh, we like to do that, don't we? And if you're an adult, you go to the same link, interview app, and then go to uh, Workday Wednesdays and post your interview there. And the goal of this show and the goal of the website is we're reaching out to the youth of America uh, to help them identify and excel in their purpose. And so this is your chance to, to reach out and touch the heart of someone. You never know what you say could touch someone's heart. And I was thinking about um, the person that may be shy or they're a little apprehensive about coming on the show or going to the website because you think maybe you don't have anything to say. Well, what about those things that you tell your kids or you, you told your kids when they were growing up? Uh, those things that you're saying to uh, your nieces and nephews, those same, those same things that you tell them could help someone um, in, our, in our community or in uh, America at large. So with that, uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. You're live. you got three minutes to change your set. Oh, well, I, I want to introduce him. Okay. So okay, I, well, I come back right when I want to, right? Stand by. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're running live to tape. I was like, oh, God. I was like, I'm rambling. Just relax. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, we're going to put a minute break in here. Okay. Splash screen up. Can I go behind you? Can I? Mm -hmm. You're gonna do it now? I guess. Yeah, you can come through. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna stand back here. I don't know if I left it. Somebody take a picture so I can put them on. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> stand by in 15 seconds. We're back. Oh, and you can set new hands down. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, tonight I have a surprise. 
I have, uh, we're on location in uh, the Owens home, and we thank them for opening up their doors. Um, their son, uh, the most excellent Elijah Owens, is with <laughs> us tonight. And uh, Elijah, um, just a little bit about you. Well, we already know your name, Elijah. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 18. You're 18? You're 18? Um, and what do you like to do? I like to sing, dance, act, draw, photography, <laughs> so play instruments. Do musical theater, work out. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know you played. Oh, I guess I didn't know you played in, in, instrument. Uh, is the keyboard the only instrument you play? No, I can also play the cello. I play piano, and I play the drums. So. Wow, I'm flabbergasted. This guy is talented, <laughs> isn't he? Um, now, uh, you said you're 18. Yes. And uh, what high school did you go to? Um, I'm actually homeschooled right now, so I do online school. We have such a busy schedule. So. Really? Well, you know, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, what, well, how long have you been homeschooled? Just this year. I just started this year. Okay. Um, do you like that better? Oh, yeah. It gives me more time and it's faster, so. Okay. So you get to do that work at your own pace? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so well, what, what grade are you in then? I'm a senior. I'm in the 12th grade. Okay. Now, um, what are your plans after high school? Well, I will, I will be moving to Hollywood to go to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in Los Angeles, and I'll be studying musical theater there. So that's dance and vocal and um, acting. So get ready to go to Hollywood. Yes. Wow! Wow! That is awesome. So uh, is, is um did did you? I kind of heard that you won a scholarship or something. Yes, I did. Actually, I won a four-hour scholarship there, so. Wow, now is this a four year uh, yep. college? Yep, it's a four year. A full right now, did you apply to that or did they find you? Well, I seen it and I was like, oh, that's something I want to do. So they started sending mail and stuff. So I went, went to the audition in Detroit and they said they really liked me. So I had to sing a song and go to my log. So, yeah. So, so what is, I, I just really know you from dancing. Mm -hmm. So, what, what is your, what is the, the main thing that you like to do out of all that talent? Hmm. Musical theater because it has dance, singing, and um, acting. But I actually study for vocal. I actually study opera, and musical theater. I mean, I could sing like regular, but I prefer like musical theater, opera. So. Wow! If I'd known you sang, I would have. He's going to do a dance for us a little later, everyone. But if I had known that you sang, I would have. I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't do. matter. Wow! <laughs> well, we're, we're going to do the dance, the dance. But I didn't know you sang too. Yes. Wow! You are so multi talented. <laughs> um. Well, what what else? Uh, what, well, there isn't anything else. Yeah, so, what what would you like to share then? What your well, I guess maybe with homeschool, mm -hmm. you, they don't go by the GPA and all that. But I guess you must have had the academics in place yeah. in order for you to get that full ride. Yeah. So basically, it's like it as like a musical. It's like they're not like well, they are like you have to have like A's and B's, of course. Like maybe you can have a C, but it's mainly like. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to have like when I was in like the ninth and tenth and eleventh grade, like my grades were well in the eleventh grade they I just like raised them up last year, but like they were like so bad I didn't think I was gonna get into any college. So I was like, hmm, maybe I just shouldn't audition, maybe I should just I was just thinking about ways like, hmm, maybe I'll just move to LA so it'll just seem like I'm so then I was like, No, I'm just gonna audition. So I auditioned and like it was mainly just about my personality and my talent, my passion for it. I also got good grades two years in high school, but the other ones were like, so I was just like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't audition since they were so bad. Like, I mean, I was like, no, I'm not going to get into any college at all. Then I auditioned for, I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead. So I auditioned for it, and they said they really liked me and my personality and my talent and stuff. So, yeah. Wow, we can't let anything hold us back. You can't let anything hold you back. Uh, how long, when did you know? Uh, or do you remember what age you were when you decided you wanted to be uh, uh, well, in well entertainment or in yeah. ministry? Uh, in, when did you yeah. know? Um, it wasn't long ago. It was like when I was maybe 13 or 14 or 15. But it like all started when I was five. But I like actually like started doing, pursuing like voice and stuff at like 12 and 13. Like. Well, well, what, well, what happened at... Um, you know, God instills purpose in us from the time we're born. And it's up to us to discover what that purpose is. 
So uh, what happened, or did any what happened, or what did not happen at five to kind of pique your interest in in performing arts? Because me and my brother Isaiah are like so close, so he like he was like a football player and stuff. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'm just gonna try to do what he does. Uh -huh. So he started playing football, and I started playing football. He played soccer. I played soccer. And he's like my little brother, so that's weird. And then so I played football one time. And then I was like. Hmm, no, I don't like this. So I went home and I was like, well, you need to find something to do because you're always changing something up. Like, one minute I wanted to dance, one minute I wanted to play sports, one minute I wanted to do painting lessons or something. So um, I like started taking dance lessons. Well, I did a musical first and I was like, hmm, I really like this. So then my vocal coach, not I love her so much, she was like, hey, come on down, we're going to do vocal lessons. So I'm actually a pre-professional, well, I could say professional, I like vocal, dance, and musical theater and that kind of stuff. Wow, it, it's I hear from what you're saying. It's really good to be exposed to different things and try different things, and through that you find out what you want to do and what your purpose is. Yeah. And it's it's like never too late to start. So if you're like, well, I'm too old, because like in, in this world, it's like you have to be trained for so many years to do it. Especially if you do ballet or something, you have to have like a slim body, tall, long limbs. But actually, I don't believe that because Misty Copeland, she just like got she's black. And she's not like, she has a bigger chest than every all the other dancers. So there's actually like a chance there's black people playing in um, Caucasian people roles on Broadway and stuff. So like, don't ever give up and like, no, it's never too late to like pursue your dreams and stuff. I had a, um, well, he's my husband's cousin and, and well, he's a distant cousin and he, he was a, a small build and he danced on Broadway. He had a career in that and I wanted him, uh, but he moved to Houston. I wanted mm -hmm. to get him here so he could talk to you and encourage you mm -hmm. and and maybe give you some advice, but he moved to uh, Houston. But there are, are guys out there mm -hmm. that uh, uh, pursue dance, and, or, or how about this, there are guys out there that want to pursue dance and performing arts, but sometimes there's a certain stigma yeah. attached to that. Uh, so have you had any, um, any, any opposition from, from any, any of your peers? Well, opposition from your peers, yeah. have you had any? Oh yeah, like when I was like in elementary school, they like used to pick on me and call me names. And like, like, but it like never phased me. Like I was like, oh well, Good. you probably can't do that. You probably Good. like once I like, okay, we'll do this. Then they're like, oh, I can't do that. That's super hard. Are you really strong? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. So it was just like, oh, maybe it's just encouragement. And then like, still like, this was like very competitive. So like, if I go to an audition or something, there's of course there's gonna be people like, hmm, you no, know, like you get weird looks and stuff when you go in. But it's like a nice world. But of course it's gonna be competitive with the things that come along with it. Well, I guess. If you, you get the strange looks, but I guess once you get there and get to dancing, oh yeah, the looks change. I always come out on top. Not to be cocky, but <laughs> yeah, I'm somehow always the best in the room. So. Confidence is a good thing. Confidence is a good thing. That's okay. Yeah. So go ahead, finish your thought. So um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So like, it always in like I'll be like even if there's like better people in the room, well not better but good people in the room. I'm like. Huh, that's good. Maybe I should just go back out there the way and not come. But it's like just always believe in yourself. Like always have confidence and self-esteem, and don't let anyone ever bring that down ever. So you said this is a uh, college is going to be four years. Yes. And so where do you see yourself after in four years? Not even in four years. Probably like during the first year of college. Okay. Um, movies, Broadway, how they, you know how they're doing like Grease Live and The Wiz Live. And something like that, um, yeah, Broadway, that music videos, um, making clothes, music. Wait a minute. Here's another one. You make clothes? Oh yeah, I have like a whole bunch of jean bow ties over there that I make. So yeah. Really? Well, the world is waiting for you. Oh, thank you. It's right. like yeah, I don't know how I can do all this stuff, God, of course, but yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> You know, I, I have sometimes felt overwhelmed in my life too because I, you know, I can you, I can do this, I can do that, I can sew, I can sing, I can. Oh God, you know, and so um, I can I paint too, I oh, paint nice. too, and and uh, and I, I do a thing with uh, fabric on canvas, and um, and you know you you can't it can be overwhelming, mm -hmm. but you know but God God is good and there's such a thing as synergy. Mm -hmm. Meaning that everything in your life, you know, it, even though it might not seem like it, it connects, there's a connection there. And the thing is, is the timing. 
So at the perfect time, you know, you'll have a chance to sing and mm -hmm. dance. And, and like you said, that's why you want to go into, uh, what you said, stage? Yeah, Broadway. Broadway, because that'll give you a chance to do a little bit of all of them. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and then you, you know, and who knows, maybe you'll be able to, you know, work in the costume department at yeah. some time, you know, making costumes yeah. or whatever. Very good, very good. Um, okay, so with that, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks. School's out for summer. What this place needed was better graduation rates. So we worked with schools like Henry Ford High, and now they're up 18%. To help us do more good this year, go to unitedway.org, because great things happen when we live united. discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> find yours at discovertheforest.org. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. Take time to be a dad today. So good to see you guys. So, what's up? Oh, we finally bought a place. Holy cow. You seriously have enough saved to do that? We've been putting a little aside each month. Mm -hmm. Jeez, at the end of the month, we have nothing left to save. Yeah, I have no idea where it goes. Well, you're mm -hmm. spending a lot on... Mm -hmm. oh. Is it good? Oh, God. Oh, how is my account overdrawn? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. I was in foster care. I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. I already knew that I was gonna go to college, you know, from a young age. I definitely want to major in political science, become the mayor or something, make the situation better for other people. My name is Justin, and I am your dividend.
Clear. That's it. Alright? Yeah. Alright, 7.45. Uh, Tori? That was it? You got two minutes. It, it went kind of went up 7.45, you have five minutes left if we do a 10-minute break here. I'm sorry, what now? You'll have five minutes left if we do a two-minute break here. Five minutes left on the whole show? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Good. Two minutes to back, two minutes to back. Elijah, come help me put the uh, chair back. Chair. Oh, he got to come back. Oh, yeah. water. Oh, I think he oh. some water. I don't know. I can't. See, Mama started the music a little too soon. <laughs> Minute and 45 back. <laughs> Minute and 20 to back. <clears throat> Setting back up. Hey, what you do? What are you doing to stop? Good job, girl. Yeah, this is like. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Minute and 20. One minute. One oh, minute to back. Okay, Drew, you want to come through on this side? Okay. So tell me what again we're doing. It's what? Yeah, it's five, five minutes, minutes left. left. I'll give you a minute when it's two minutes before the end. Okay. All right, so you're at five minutes. I'll probably take another break. I don't know. This is two <laughs> minutes. Okay. <laughs> This is 30 seconds. 30 okay. seconds is a wrap up. All right, all right. Love you very much. Hey, thanks for watching me. Okay. Call us at. Good night, everybody. 30 okay. seconds. Stand by. 30 seconds to back. Starting on a close up. And in 20 seconds. 20 seconds. In, in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. Eliza, that was great. That was wonderful. That, I really enjoyed that. Wow. Good, good, good. So, um, a question. Do you think your industry is uh, running short on men? Absolutely, yes, it is. Because mm -hmm. so, there's so many guys and stuff out there that are scared to come into this industry because of what their friends and stuff think, so it is. Okay. Yeah, I, I just thought about that. Um, so guys, of course, of course, young ladies, guys, if, you're, if you've ever thought about being a dancer, or perform, uh, going into the performing arts, you are needed. You are needed and wanted, I'm sure. Um, so pursue that. If that's in your heart to do, pursue it. Where is there some place here in Flint that someone could go who's interested in uh, performing arts, dance, singing, what have you? Oh yes, the Flintiston Music, they do voice, dance, instruments, and acting, and then there's Terry Mallock School of Performing Arts, they Camp Spotlight School of Performing Arts. Um, there's a lot, El Nail Dance Studio. Okay, so there is some place you can go in Flint to if you have that spark in your heart. Um, Pursue it. Pursue your dream. Whatever your dream is, if, whether it's being a dancer, a singer, mathematician, scientist, um, you want to own your own house cleaning business, um, what, whatever it is in your heart, young person, that you want to do, God put that desire in you, and he wants, it, he wants to bring it out of you because your gift is not just for you. It's for the world, but it's up to you to, to find out what it is, focus on it, perfect it, and just be about it. All right? All right? So uh, once again, Elijah, I want to thank you. I want to thank, give thanks to the Owens for opening up their home to me and coming in here and, and, and just hearing from you and um, seeing sing that wonderful dance. Uh, this is Elijah's painting back here in the back in the background. Uh, and one last word. Is there anything else you'd like to say to, to the youth of America? Oh, yeah. It's never too late, too late to start. Don't let anyone bring you down. And be yourself. And no matter what you do, always strive and do what's best like that dance that was just improv so if you just strive and go what what you do and 
how well you know it, then you'll do great. Right. Amen. Uh, I, I, you never would have gotten that um, scholarship if you didn't go and go to the audition. Yeah, I could have like I could have let people like listen to what people said and all the bad things that people were saying and stuff, but I never let it bring me down. So right, right. Uh, and then you had a good support system. A good support system is very important. Mm -hmm. um, so we are blessed as we go. Uh, and so one more time, I want to mention uh, the website. Please go to InsideTheHaven.com and uh, post an interview there. Uh, the questions are there. Once again, just go to Interview app and go on either Workday Wednesdays if you're an adult or um, Role Model Mondays if you're a young person, uh, 13 to age 24. I call it Role Model Mondays is because uh, you're a role model. We all are role models for someone. Someone is watching you. And so someone, someone needs to hear from you. They need to hear your story. And for those of you that don't live in this area, or you're a little camera shy, uh, go to the website. Go to the website and, like I said, post an interview there. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can send me an email and just at uh, InsideTheHaven uh, at gmail.com and just simply say, I want to be on your show. Leave your contact information there, and I will definitely get back with you. And with that, good night, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.